So these narrow chapstick, like it's so um I love it so much. Right. Mm. <laughs> they got the Hennessy. Yeah, they got the Hennessy! This video is, I hope, very informative for some people that did ask me a few questions in my last vlog on my Instagram or on my Twitter, anywhere, or just if you texted me and was like, oh my God, I saw you went alone, like, because I had a lot of questions. I was like, damn, like, damn. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I was gonna have to give advice but here we are like i'm happy to do it but it's just weird because i guess i never noticed that so many people had these questions or that were interested in doing it so again let's just start we're gonna hop right into the video if you do want to do a solo trip it's just gain confidence within yourself you can't go into it being scared <laughs> or just any insecurities about being solo. I love being alone, like, I'll just put it that way. Like, I like my space. I love being with my friends and my family, but when I need my me time, I need my me time. And when I say, like, I gained that, I always, like, felt a little embarrassed by, like, going to, like, restaurants alone and, like, or the movies or just doing solo anything. The only thing that I used to do solo was go shopping, and that's because if I'm shopping, get out of my way. Like, I want to get what I want to get. If I don't want to be there, I want to be out. Hello. 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 Number two, pick a destination. I wanted to have a relaxing trip on a beach. I knew I wanted to go to a beach location. I wanted to go somewhere that you know, I was accessible to. It says pretty easily. It just was so easy in the place that I went. As if you saw in my vlog that I just put out, I went to Mexico and my resort had the testing right on the resort. Also with picking a destination, research, 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 research where you're going to be staying, your living accommodations, research the location, any crimes, any, you know, numbers. Like at the time, again, like I said, I wasn't vaccinated, but you want to research all of that in terms of, you know, masks, obviously I had to wear a mask. They had better everything over there like if you was getting spritzed with <laughs> Lysol. Also transportation. I booked transportation for um before I got there because I was alone. I didn't want to rely on possibly having to book a taxi from the airport. Nec it's more from the airport because when you get to your resort most of the time they have concierge that can set that up for you but still i just wanted to make sure it was already done boom paid for and it was set in stone this is who was taking me and this is who is bringing me back these are things that you need to think about because again you'll be alone hello 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 as a woman as a black woman these are important things that you need to do before even being there don't ever let anyone know that you are alone <laughs> only only people that knew i was alone were the people at the restaurants and that's because boom they seen i was alone it just is what it is. They were literally the only people that knew I was. Obviously the person that checked me in and that's because when they asked me, they saw there was nobody there with me. Okay, that's it. But don't tell anybody that you meet that you're alone. I have a boyfriend, I have a husband, my kids is here, something. Just don't let people know that you're alone and I think you'll be good. With me, I was on a resort and I didn't leave the resort. So I didn't really have that much to worry about. Then the resort that I stayed on was also double gated. Just so I felt super safe and confident at that resort. 
drink fucking responsibly. And what's funny about this is that, you know, my friends have this little thing where they're like, oh, where's Candace? Like, okay, well, we're friends, like, especially at Carnival or like if I go to any festival or if I'm just traveling and we're getting drunk or we're drinking to get drunk and have a good time, I am with people. I don't think I would ever do that by myself. The only time I drink to get drunk if I just feel like that is because I just want to act stupid like in my house and dance and turn the music on really loud and I'm home and that's it. I do that sometimes. Like I'm probably about to do that after this video, but whatever. Because I was by myself, I drank very, very responsibly. Don't be stupid. Okay. <laughs> be inside before it is too late. And when I say before it's too late, y'all know the saying, be inside before the street lights come on that like, don't be outside of somewhere that you don't know and you're not familiar with in another country, even another state. Like, you don't know, you're not from there. Like, don't be outside too late if you are traveling alone. And this is just, I I'm getting drunk, y'all. But still, <laughs> that's just obvious. Like, don't. Like, it's dark. When you're driving at night, it just looks different. So imagine just like being somewhere and you don't know the taxi driver, you don't know the Uber, you don't know the nothing. And now it's dark and now people being sus. Like, don't do it. Like, that is tacky anyway. Like, be inside, go to sleep by nine. <laughs> That's just my little tidbit. If you want to do that, be safe, girl. <laughs> but I guess it wasn't doing it. <laughs> oh, my arm is hurting from this vaccine. Oh, it's a little toy. So traveling internationally, which I was, this is just something I've always done. Don't ever, ever, ever take your passport out of your room. Once you're at the airport and you show them that here's my passport and here's my declaration, put your passport in your bag. And then when you get to your destination, put your passport in the safe. They don't have a safe, put it somewhere safe and don't move it. Do not take your passport out of your room. I'm telling you, I am giving you the most important tip. Actually, I'm about to get a passport card. And the reason why is because I'm afraid to lose my license, but when I do travel, I take my license as my ID as if I'm in the States, but your passport, lose your passport. How are you getting home? <laughs> Let me know. And with, oh, you, you for damn sure ain't never going home. That should be actually number one. Do not take your passport out of your goddamn room. Okay, that's it. Also with that, I put it together. Don't take all your money out of your room either. Like take one card that you want to use really it should be a credit card so that if it's any funky business you can dispute that bitch like okay um if you do have cash don't take all of it duh i usually use the same credit card the entire trip so that all of my expenses are in one place just in case say the worst does happen you get robbed you don't got shit on you like i don't got it <laughs> that was really like wild just now, but I pray that doesn't happen to anybody. <laughs> I'm actually about to like take that out. <laughs> Cause what? Getting robbed? That is scary. <laughs> like why did that even pop into my head? Cause I'm drunk. Okay, and the last, 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 enjoy yourself. I pray that anybody watching this is at the point where they are comfortable enough with themselves that they can go and enjoy themselves on a vacation. Again, I've watched so many solo vlogs before I did this one. I followed a few girls on like, or went to their pages on like Instagram and on Twitter. And just, like I said, it's part of my doing my research, but I knew I wanted to do this. It's been on my bucket list for a while and I wanted to do it before 30. It literally says it on my bucket list, like do this before 30. I was able to do it 
literally days before I turned 30, it just all worked out in God's divine plan. And I was able to pull through. So I am so happy for that. And I'm so proud of that. Because again, like I said, I had to work myself up to being comfortable to do things by myself. It wasn't like embarrassing or anything. Like, I don't care, you see, I'm sitting here alone. For real, you think people are looking, but nobody is really looking. And if they are, so fucking what? Like, why do, don't let that define how you want to live your life okay enjoy yourself enjoy the heck out of your trip you're doing it for you and you alone and just be comfortable and being happy and like all that jazz you tell somebody that you by yourself and it is like the world flipped upside down like people like don't it's such a mind fuck they're like oh my god you're by yourself like it is crazy doing like you're not scared like of course i'm scared when i'm with niggas <laughs> i'm drunk now but but still like um just being somewhere where you're not from you're always going to be uncomfortable and now i'm somewhere where i'm not from and i'm by myself yes i'm going to be uncomfortable but i'm going to make the best out of my situation and i'm also going to do it as safe as possible so i hope that this did help you and like and if you are too afraid do like a weekend trip to like at a hotel or something like you know just spend time with yourself love on yourself love yourself because who's gonna love you the best you like so again you don't have to go out to the country you don't even gotta leave the damn state but like i said if you just want to do something just do it if you've never done anything by yourself like i advise just try it again my name is candace if you stayed for the entire video thank you so much i love everybody that's been here with me and rocking with me and checking out my vlogs and my hair videos and like all of that <laughs> all of that but please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl's channel hope this was helpful and very informative so see you in the next video bye yeah. Yeah. Lambo doors with a woo-up drop